How's it going guys? It's me Steve. Here's the latest in Disney news. Let's get into it. Calling all fans of frightfully fun family experiences, the Halloween season will once again come to life at the Disneyland Resort. From September 3rd to October 31st, you will delight in the spooky fun of Halloween time at both Disneyland Park and Disney California Adventure Park. You will not want to miss all of the treasured magic from transformed Halloween themed attractions and sightings of your favorite Disney characters and villains to seasonal decor and delightfully delicious treats. Downtown Disney District also gets into the spirit with delightful decor, seasonal treats, and an all new Halloween themed pumpkin hunt, Pluto's Pumpkin Pursuit. As you stroll down Main Street USA, You'll be greeted by the familiar grin of the Mickey Mouse jack-o'-lantern and the cleverly carved pumpkins of the Main Street Pumpkin Festival. On weekend nights, Halloween screams will take the skies and enhance the mischief with fireworks. Over at Buena Vista Street, Mickey Mouse and friends will be throwing it back with old school fashion costumes. Also, in Disney California Park, Experience the return of Plaza de la Familia and Paradise Gardens from September 3rd to November 2nd. This immersive limited time celebration is inspired by the tradition of Dia de los Muertos with exciting live entertainment, festive foods, crafts, and interactive experiences. Here are some details about Avengers Quantum Encounter Disney Cruise Line's most ambitious dining experience ever. This exclusive Avengers adventure will assemble some of Earth's mightiest and tiniest superheroes in a larger-than-life showcase of revolutionary quantum technology and world-class cuisine. It's more than a meal and more than a show. It's something that's never been done before in a restaurant on land or at sea. Avengers Quantum Encounter will follow Ant-Man and the Wasp as they embark on their first public speaking engagement on behalf of the Avengers. They are hosting a special presentation of the most powerful superhero technologies, giving the audience an up-close look at holographic models, field reports, and iconic scenes from the Marvel Cinematic Universe displayed on the screens surrounding the room. Every table at Worlds of Marvel will feature its own quantum core, a brand new device that causes objects to shrink and grow remotely. When enough of the quantum cores are activated at the same time, the entire venue will become supercharged as energy pulses through the power channels and the walls and ceiling. This sounds super exciting. On July 3rd, security agents at Disneyland Paris asked a woman to stop breastfeeding her two-month-old baby because it was shocking other guests around her. The guest, who was Australian, was completely shocked when security asked her to hand over and delete the video she had made of their intervention. Things then took a turn when this incident was posted on Twitter the next day. The post translates to, Yesterday, your security guards prevented a mother from breastfeeding her two-month-old baby on the grounds that it shocked foreign customers and friends in July 2021. Obstruction of breastfeeding, where are we? Disneyland Paris initially responded on Twitter by saying that breastfeeding is not against the park rules and there are no restrictions on breastfeeding at Disneyland Paris. Disneyland Paris provides parents with young children with various service locations within the destination for those who prefer a dedicated location. What do you guys think? Disney has released a behind the scenes featurette of the upcoming film Jungle Cruise. In the new featurette, Dwayne Johnson and Emily Blunt discuss their characters, the ride's legacy, and their experiences filming the movie. Let's check it out. The Jungle Cruise ride was Walt Disney's main attraction when the park opened. 
And now we have this incredible opportunity to turn it into a movie. Why should I trust you? I'm the only one that could get you there. You're taken on this roller coaster, injected with thrill and suspense and humor. <laughs> Frank is a skipper on the Amazon, and he takes a lot of pride in what he does. He meets this woman who's ambitious and brave and likes to dish it out. Lily is ahead of her time. Drawing unnecessary attention. I don't care in the slightest. She needs a skipper. He's about the best they've got when it comes to getting them down the Amazon on this insane adventure. As they're taken down the river, the experience is ever shifting. The myth is real. I got so lucky to work with this incredible cast. Dwayne Johnson has become my most enormous buddy. And I think I imagined that he would be larger than life, which physically clearly he is. But I usually show up Dwayne Johnson in the gym. I think he's a bit intimidated working out with me. I think he needs to up his game. She said, I can bench more than you. I said, yeah, absolutely. Oh, God, sorry, Frank. Sorry, strong form. <laughs> there you go setting ourselves up nicely to deliver for the audience an adventure that is quite special and a lot of fun. <laughs> Here we go. A section of World Drive located near the Magic Kingdom will close starting next Saturday. This closure, located between Center Drive and the Pluto parking lot, will last July 17th through the 26th. While Disney World recently notified cast members of the road closure, as a particular section of World Drive is a backstage area. This area is also home to a proposed new fireworks launch site that Disney recently filed permits for, although it is not confirmed whether this closure is in relation to the proposed site. Walt Disney World has just shared that they will start accepting bookings on July 8th for the following reopening resort hotels. Disney's All-Star Music Resort for arrivals beginning September 16th, Disney's Port Orleans Resort Riverside for arrivals beginning October 14th, Disney's Port Orleans Resort French Quarter for arrivals beginning October 28th, and Disney's All-Star Sports Resort for arrivals beginning December 9th. With this news, all Walt Disney World Resort hotels will be open by the end of 2021. I would book now because most resorts are completely booked when it comes to end of the year. Disney Animation Studios has released the first trailer for Encanto, which releases this November. The Columbia set film will follow family members who all possess magical powers like super strength, shape shifting, and the abilities to control animals and the plants. However, Mary Bell is the only person to not possess a special gift. When she discovers that her family's magic might be under threat, she realizes that she is the only one who can save it. The film is directed by Byron Howard and Jared Bush co-directed and co-written by Sharice Castro-Smith and features music written by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Encanto will be released in theaters on November 24th. And this is also Disney's 60th animated feature. At Disneyland, Jungle Cruise has been fully closed since the theme park reopened. The reimagined attraction opens on July 16th but certain guests will have the chance to experience it early. Disney is offering D23 Gold members the opportunity to ride the reimagined Jungle Cruise before anyone else. The event will happen at sunrise before park opening at 5.30 a.m. and will cost guests $75 if they would like to ride. Guests will also get their very own skipper hat and VIP credential. The event will begin at the Tropical Hideaway in Adventureland and Disneyland Park. Once the event wraps up at 7.30 a.m., guests will be escorted out of the park as this ticket does not represent or include a regular theme park admission or reservation for Disneyland. The event is incredibly limited 
so all fans of Jungle Cruise who are itching to see the newly updated attraction will sign up for the event as soon as possible. The event will be filmed and guests attending may be used for promotional material. I'm a D23 Gold member. The only thing that sucks is that I'm on the East Coast and I won't be able to make it. Thank you guys for all your love and support. The channel is slowly growing, so let's keep it up. I enjoy giving you news about all things Disney. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any videos. While you're at it, don't forget to subscribe to my Instagram, which is Disney with Washington for more content, and I guarantee you won't regret it. We're almost at 2,800 followers on Instagram. Now that we've hit over 2,000 followers, as I said in previous videos, not only will I continue to give shout outs and plug Disney YouTuber channels, but I will also shout out Disney businesses. Today's shout out goes to Mouse Ears Required. They are a husband and wife duo that talk about all the Disney stuff they love as adults. The link to their podcast is down in the description. Thank you, thank you, thank you to everyone who follows my content and we're just getting started. There's plenty more to go, just you wait. Let's get to 100 YouTube subscribers. Again, thanks for their support, and remember guys, there's a great big beautiful tomorrow. <laughs>